Hello church family and welcome to our 21 day fast devotional. I'm so excited that we're in this fast because God wants to do an amazing thing through me and you. And I actually have a quick testimony that I want to share. This time last year, I was fasting for clarity. I had three job offers and I had to do I had a big decision to make. And so I knew that I couldn't be, you know, I couldn't follow my flesh. I couldn't follow the money. I couldn't follow, you know, what we naturally want to do in our flesh. And I needed the Holy Spirit to intervene. So I fasted, I prayed, I talked to my husband. And in fasting and prayer, God revealed to me to stay in my current job. Now I know what you're thinking. Why would God not want you to take uh, the job offers that were presented to you? Well, little did I know that three months later, I was gonna be offered an even greater position at a different job with greater pay, and I was able to work from home. And so I didn't see, I didn't know what was happening in, in the middle of that, but only through prayer and fasting was I able to get that clarity and that peace that I needed. So I encourage you in the middle of this fast, if you need clarity or wisdom from God, continue praying, continue seeking Him, and He will give you the clarity and the wisdom that you need, amen? I hope you were encouraged by that. But let's go ahead and dive into today's teaching, which is found in Matthew 5, 17 through 22. Don't misunderstand why I have come. I did not come to abolish the law of Moses or the writings of the prophets. No, I came to accomplish their purpose. I tell you the truth, until heaven and earth disappear, not even the smallest detail of God's law will disappear until its purpose is achieved. So if you ignore at the least commandment and teach others to do the same, you will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But anyone who obeys God's law and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. But I warn you, unless your righteousness is better than the righteousness of the teachers of religious law and the Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Verse 21, you have heard that our ancestors were told you must not murder. If you commit, commit murder, you are subject to judgment. But I say, if you are even angry with someone, you are su subject to judgment. If you call someone an idiot, you are in danger of being brought before the court. And if you curse someone, you are in, dangers, in danger of the fires of hell. Now I know that was a lot to take in. I know it was a lot to take in. So I'm gonna talk about one main takeaway from this portion of scripture, starting in verse 19. It says, so if you ignore the least commandment and teach others to do the same, you will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But anyone who obeys God's laws and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So what I get from this portion of scripture is that we have two choices when it comes to hearing God's word. Number one is obey it and walk it out and teach others to do the same. Or number two, ignore the word and reject it and teach others to do the same. The word ignore means refuse to take notice of or acknowledgement and to disregard intentionally. So we have a choice every single time we hear the word of God to obey it or to intentionally ignore it. The word obey means to comply with the command, direction, or request of a person or a law. Submit to the authority of and carry out the instructions. Now listen to the definition of the word teach. It means to show or explain to someone how to do something by word or by conduct. So every single day, we are teaching someone with our words and with our conduct. Now we're teaching them to obey the word of God or, or to ignore it. I don't know about you, but I wanna be called great in the kingdom of God. So as you're fasting, let's obey the word of God. Let's hear not only hear what it says, but do what it says. And you and I will be called great in the kingdom of God. I pray that this message encourages you and that you continue in this fast. Again, seek the Lord with all your heart and He will give you your heart's desires. Amen. God bless you. See you soon.